G'day Trendsetter, Stuart here and today I'll uh, be giving my silver beet some TLC. I had these guys planted about a month ago from uh, little punnet of seedlings. They got chewed down twice that I'm aware of from uh, by mice or possums or something anyhow but whoever it was they've stopped. So I'm going to treat them with a bit of blood and bone and, and, and some mulch, um, mainly because there are, the weather's warming up and because they're a, a, a leaf crop, you want to keep the, the nutrient up to them and keep the leaves growing and, and that's what I'll use blood and bone for. Now today, uh, the weather, it's blowing just short of a gale or the local weather bureau did say call it a strong breeze, but um, I don't know which window they're looking out of. It's also coming in from the west, so it's bringing up a lot of raised dust from the, the drought out there. There's just nothing to hold the, the soil onto the ground. Um, some good news, the seeds I planted um, last week, the, um, <coughs> the rocket, pak choy, they're all sprouted. Um, what else? The Peas, oh, peas, I planted them two weeks ago. That's a different story and, and we'll get to that. And radish, they will also germinate, germinated. So, but first things first, we'll get to this, um, this silver beet. I'll bring the camera in closer and show you what I do. Need to get the weeds out. I have been weeding this as a go, but there's always a few weeds popping up around here. So, knock them guys out of the ground. All I want to do, I just want to go around and lightly till the soil, not too deep because I don't want to disturb the roots. Pull out any weed seeds and add the blood and bone. So blood and bone, are probably about a half or a small handful I should say might be better around each plant. That'll be heaps and just lightly fluff that back into the top of the soil. So that's the blood and bone added. A side dressing of compost won't hurt either. That's probably oh, two, three handfuls around each little seedling. That's heat. Top that off with a bit of, I use the sugar cane mulch that you buy from most of the nurseries and big box stores. I don't like to put it on too thick, probably somewhere around the 20 mil mark. Just enough so as the water gets through nice and easy but stops the surface of the soil from drying out. It also is that thickness it doesn't really prevent a whole lot of weeds coming through. It's mainly just to help keep the moisture in the soil. So yeah, job done. Five to go. In the little time-lapse movie, I got my steps back to front and I put the mulch on before the compost, so they'll put the compost on over the top of the mulch. No big issue, there's no hard and fast rules, as long as it's on there, basically. I've also got um, some power feed liquid plant food, and I'll give them a, a good drink at the same time, and job's done. Part two. I want to move down, it's semi-confessional time here at my veggie garden. Basically, I can't remember the last time I grew a crop of zucchini that didn't have blossom end rot. Now blossom end rot, to the best of my knowledge, is caused by a lack of calcium. So I've got a little patch down the other side of the shed just here and I'll, I'll gather up some supplies and we'll meet you down there and I'll show you what I hope, fingers crossed, will fix my lack of zucchinis and the blossom end rot that I've suffered over the last couple of years.
All right, well, since uh, I finished on the other side of the shed and come to this side of the shed, I've uh, gone from morning to afternoon. I've also celebrated International Bacon Day with my daughter by cooking her or us a nice BLT uh, sandwich, which was very nice. And my favourite team in the Queensland Rugby League competition, the Ipswich Jets, have won their, uh, not preliminary grand final, elimination grand final. So then move now to next week into the preliminary grand final. So yay, go Jets. That's not what I'm here for. This is all about me possibly going OTT, trying to get my zucchinis to not develop blossom end blight, or blossom end rot, sorry. So I've got about a metre square here. I'm sitting basically in the middle of it. I've got a bucket of compost, age, just quite old age compost, a bag of garden lime. The garden lime is essentially uh, two things. It's got, it's got calcium in it, which is supposed to prevent blossom end rot. And lime will also raise your pH, so it'll, what they call, sweeten your soil a little bit. Um, if you sweeten your soil a little bit, it'll just make a little bit more calcium available to the plant. So that's a, a two-pronged two approach there. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is it's about, well, it's, it's the 1st of September today, so it'll be three, four weeks before I actually get around to planting any seeds in here. Um, so that'll give the soil plenty of time to, to adjust itself and work and, and make hopefully everything available for the plants as they develop. So I've also got blood and bone at the recommended rate which is about four handfuls, four of my handfuls per square metre and I thought just for the heck of it, a um, bag of cow manure, cow manure blend. God only knows what it is, it's cheap as chips, probably full of sawdust. But I'm sure there's some manure in there as well. That'll basically be no nutrient value, it's mainly just to hold, help um, hold moisture in the soil. Um, I've also bought a bag of sugarcane mulch. So what I'll do is I'll put all this on, fork it into the soil, cover it quite deep, probably up to two, maybe three inches deep with the sugar cane mulch, water it like mad and just let it sit there for three weeks. Before I plant the seeds, I also bought a bag of gypsum. Now gypsum doesn't alter the pH. Uh, it will help the structure of the soil a little bit, um, but again, its main purpose is to add calcium to the soil. So, Hopefully it's not overkill, but I know I, I have tried uh, dolomite in the past, dolomite and compost in the past, none of it's worked, so um, I've got nothing to lose, basically. I'll just bung it all in and cross my fingers and, and hope uh, I don't have blossom right. But I'll report back as the, as the season goes and, uh, and let you know, see how we get on. So. Uh, I guess so all there is left now is for me to get cracking. All right, that's it for today. Um, well, I'm done anyhow. Um, what was I going to say? I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. If you do, uh, click the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell on the side so you get notifications whenever I put up a new video. I'm trying to put up at least one a week, two a week if I can. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, cheers and go the Jets, yay.